Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Now it's time for your weekend tech tip, brought to you by Chevy Silverado. Welcome back, everybody. Now, the question was about steelhead rods in particular, and the rods that I have talked about uh, quite a bit over the years are very specific when you're talking about edge, edge rods. There is any number uh, of different versions of edge rods that are out there, but the one in the particular, and I hope that you're watching this morning, uh, it's the 1065-2. That's the BWS, and the S stands for spin, okay? Uh, 10 foot six, they're a 10 to 20. Now, part of that question was why a 10 to 20? This particular rod, thank goodness for Fish Killer Freddy, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, one of the best steelhead fishermen that there is. When he discovered this rod, when we first got in a bobber dog, or I shouldn't even say that, we've been bobber dogging for 25, 30 years. Um, finding a rod that was long enough and had a backbone that could handle picking up a ton of braided line and a float that could be 50 yards away from you, you gotta have a rod that's got some backbone. So a 10 to 20, for a lot of folks, is gonna sound like too heavy a rod. It is not. This rod is absolutely the best, and that's not the one I have here. So I'm gonna get to this one in a second. I wanna show you the numbers, because that's the other part uh, of the question. But that 1065-2, it's the Black Widow line. It's my favorite line. I love the Silver Widow as well, don't get me wrong. But the Black Widow, it's the BWS 1065-2, okay? Now that's the spinning rod. Along with that question was, should I get a bait caster? Absolutely, okay? I'm an old enough guy that I never fished spinning rods or spinning gear for steelhead up until the early 2000s, I guess, when we, or no, late 1990s, when we really got into free drifting up on the Cowlitz and other areas where it was definitely a spinning rod show, right? And that really showed us that spinning rods are probably, arguably, the most versatile rod that you can use when you're chasing the steelhead around. Thing is, bait casters are extremely versatile. You can use that same rod for a number of different things. Now, like if you're going to be fishing out of the out of a boat, uh, you're not going to have to cast as far. Maybe you want to use it as a, a back trolling rod, not necessarily the 10.6. They have a number of different versions for that. Uh, but there are certainly reasons to have a bait caster as opposed to a spinning rod. If I was only going to buy one, and that was it, and I, I, I'm going to go buy my favorite rod in the whole world, I'm, I'm going to step up, I'm going to spend the money for the best that there is. It's going to be the 1065, the BWS spinning rod version, the 1065-2, and I'm matching it up with a 4,000 size. Not a 3,000, not a 35, definitely not a 25. I'm low, I'm, that rod's got a size 4,000 on it, and it's loaded to the gills with a 30-pound braid. Okay, the P-Line, the newer version of their braided line is phenomenal. It floats excellent, and it's just not too thick, which is nice to have. But the numbers, the other question, and I'm hoping that we can get this with the Kershaw Tech Cam in here, and if you give me the shot, I'll try to line her up as best I can. Right in here, you don't have to necessarily see the numbers if we can't get it. But when you look at the rods, either it be online uh, or when you put one in your hands at their, at their uh, edge rod factory, uh, there's going to be numbers on here. All these numbers are doing is just referring to a specific blank, a specific rod, and there's going to be different versions of these rods, different weight ratings. So don't let these things, you know, uh, you know, be intimidating to you. Once you get the chance to take a look uh, at some of these numbers and how things are uh, laid out on their website in particular, uh, you're going to find that there is, geez, three or four different versions of any given rod based on what it is that you want to do. So again, for that individual to ask that question, uh, that Chevy Silverado tech tip is simple. That's my favorite rod. Everybody's got their own personal take on how rods should feel and how they should act. Uh, but when you're talking about bobber dogging from the bank and from the boat, that 10.6, the, again, the BWS 1065-2, very, very interesting. And I only use the bait caster when I'm running my sled. For me, with the stick or the motor in my hand, it makes it way easier. We'll be back in just a minute to wrap things up.